Tokyo Nights from 1961 is another highly enjoyable action drama from the prolific Niketsu studio and director Seijun Suzuki. This one has a young Japanese student returning home from studying in America when news of his father's apparent accidental death requires Koji to step up to head the Matsubara family as company syndicate leader. Koji is a very likeable young man and highly proficient in all that he does. Signing in at his hometown school, he soon becomes popular with all the top teams and clubs, leading the way in rugby, fencing, kendo, boxing and the music club class. Smart, self-assured and highly proficient at all he turns his hand to. He even attracts the eye of the prettiest young girl in school, Yuriko. Beneath the fun-loving athletic prowess and astute abilities to learn from his teachers lies the mind of an inquisitive son as well, though. One who cannot let it rest easy that his father's death was an accident at all. So once settled back at home, Koji quietly sets about investigating and takes a front and center approach to the business practices of his syndicate with an eye also upon the competing syndicates. All of course is indeed not as above board as he has been led to believe in Tokyo Nights. Koji is vibrantly played by 60s Japanese young heartthrob and Seijin Suzuki movie regular Koji Wada. Together they made about nine films throughout the 60s, beginning with Fighting Delinquents in 1960, when Koji Wada was just 16 years of age. Koji plays the rebel with a cause role well, and with a charming purpose here in Tokyo Nights. He is suspicious of his father's right-hand man director, Mr. Mishima, and discovers that most of the syndicate's manual labour workforce do not like or trust Mishima. Koji visits the road work and hotel construction sites to speak of the workers himself, but also to take a first-hand look at the clifftop area from where his father is said to have fallen to his death whilst up at the ledge on his own. A single cufflink found at the cliff top comes into Koji's possession and in his investigations he discovers that it does not belong to his father at all. But Koji uncovers that the item of male jewellery is one of a set of four cufflinks that are all awarded as a mark of achievement within the business of a rival syndicate headed up by Mr. Tokotaki. We learn that Koji's young mother was some 30 years younger than his father, and director Mishima is manipulating her business-wise and taking advantage of her emotional needs as well. Mishima is also on rival contractor Tokotaki's personal payroll. Koji visits the rival syndicate and plays along with their duplicitous befriending of him, but he is well wise to them, and now the truth behind all the underhand tactics and the one behind the true reason for Koji's father's death start to become apparent. Koji has become close to the pretty young Yuriko during this time though, and she just so happens to be the daughter of Mr. Tokotaki. Hijinks, foul play and intrigue all combine well in this drama with a nice balance of character and story development in between the action moments. Tokyo Nights delivers a less serious tone to proceedings from director Seijin Suzuki here, but nonetheless energetic. A healthy dose of Shakespearean tragedy and Romeo and Juliet love interest 
as well as a daring masked and avenger play to proceedings enhanced by a very noteworthy supporting cast of characters that include a quirky English teacher with a not-so-great Japanese dialect and a strict nun who is the school head. All together combined to give the movie a charming feel-good factor of 6 out of 10 for this general audience rated drama. The movie looks great in its original 235 to 1 fully scoped original aspect ratio and the old stock colour film is perfectly brought back to life here on Blu-ray in full 1080p high definition. Good fun matinee movie stuff. Thanks for watching. Sayonara for now.